Did you know that there's over 460,000 IT security positions open as of August 2021 right here in the United States? Did you also know that the supply of workers filling these positions is considered very low? Let's take a look at a database, and in particularly, a database from CyberSeq. Now, CyberSeq is a database maintained by the U.S. Commerce Department and CompTIA. Let's take a look at this database. So, according to CyberSeq, at the national level, and this is going to be as of August 2021, there's 464, 420,000 positions currently available. The supply of cybersecurity workers is considered very low. Now, the total job openings across the United States is completely up in every single state. One of the things that I like showing people when it comes to cybersecurity is what we're going to call the supply to demand ratio. Now, the supply to demand ratio basically is going to show us across all 50 states, is there a deficit here? And we could see that there is a talent gap that exists across the entire country. And you could see this whole map, how it turns red. Now, cybersecurity is a red-hot industry, as you can see according to this map here. But let's take a look at some more statistics. Now, the other one we're going to be taking a look at is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the job outlook for cybersecurity is basically going to be growing at 31% from 2019 to 2029. That is much faster than the average of all occupations. So you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, that's pretty good. Well, what does it pay? Well, also according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average pay, the median pay for cybersecurity professionals is $103,000. So, hey, it's a red-hot industry and it pays pretty well. Now, you're probably saying, well, Andrew, how do I get into this particular industry? Well, also according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, it says here, Many employers prefer candidates to have certifications which validate knowledge and best practices required from information security analysts. So as you can see, certifications is really important when it comes to getting, get, getting your foot in the door, getting these cybersecurity jobs. Degrees are also going to be important also, but certifications is what employers prefer the most. And certifications is something you can get relatively quickly. So if you're thinking about entering the field of cybersecurity, you're in the right path because you know why? This is a red hot industry.